Hello everybody, welcome in to another Alpha Aries video here. Doing something a little bit different today, not your regular run-of-the-mill Academy video. Uh, today we have a highlight video of sorts uh, from a stream uh, a couple of days ago uh, where a member of my chat uh, suggested that I play the Vladivostok because he was grinding up the Russian battleship line. So I said, sure, we'll play the Vlad. I uh, ended up having probably one of, if not the best game I've had in the Vlad. Um, so that's what we're going to take you through here. Um, and also, most of you seem to want me to have commentary over these videos instead of just highlights with music and effects. So I'm giving that a whirl uh, in this video as well. So uh, hopefully it's not too cringeworthy. Um, but as you can see at the start of the match, we've already landed a sit. Uh, on the vanguard and then this Mogami has a death wish um, and just cuts across um, this entire flank broadside to everyone um, and gets uh, pretty much annihilated um, in short order there so in the first few minutes of the game we have two sets of kill and almost 30k damage so not a not a terrible start um, but yeah the uh, the Vlad even after it's it's supposed nerf that it got um, a few patches ago is still one of the strongest tier 8 battleships um, and one of the more enjoyable battleships to play um, Russian bias and all that right um, but no it's it's still a lot of fun uh, I get a little lucky here trying to make this turn out to reposition um, you know if you're familiar with the Russian battleships you know their biggest weakness is their broadsides um, they are really susceptible to massive damage. I mean, most battleships are, but the Russian battleships specifically, um, if you're if you're not angled properly, you can take massive damage. So we get a little lucky there, trying to turn out um, and reposition here. You know, based on where the enemy team is on the mini map, I don't want to go, you know, way wide um, and block myself off from some potential shots. So we turn out um drop detection and then you know try to turn back into reposition and get some shots on some of these ships that are still out here uh like this colorado um i do <laughs> i still feel sorry for the uh these mid-tier u.s battleships i i think um everything from the colorado down um should get about a five knot speed buff just to keep them competitive um, for balance sake. I know it's not, you know, historically accurate and whatnot, but this game has not been historically accurate in a long time. Um, but, you know, that's topic for another day, really. Um, but back to the Vlad. Um, see if we can turn back around, get into position um, to, uh, you know, maybe push the enemy a little bit. It seems like most of their team is concentrated in the middle of the map. Um, but we'll reposition while keeping shots, um, you know, downrange on this Colorado, which is sailing broadside. You know, pretty much broadside across, um, and with it being so slow, it's kind of an easy target um, for us to shoot at. Uh, there is a uh, carrier in this game, but it's um, you know, not really much of a threat to us. Um, I like to take some AA skills on most of my battleships, and the Russian battleships have you know pretty good uh, anti-air, but most of it's you know centered in their flak, but still effective. Um, but we'll rotate here. If you can, if you notice on the mini map. There is this one, uh, that, that vanguard that we citadeled earlier is uh, going like full hero mode and is just straight pushing through the middle of the map. Um, I don't know uh, like what he thought he was going to accomplish here, but um, it kind of caught me by surprise a little bit. I mean, there he is. You see him. He's just like YOLO um, cutting across. Another citadel there landed on the Colorado um, with our butt gun as we went behind the mountains. That was kind of dirty. Um, I do slow down here if you're wondering why I don't just straight push the vanguard. If you notice to my left, there is an enemy destroyer right there. Um, so just kind of being precautious in case he decided to torp around this corner seeing me coming. Um, so I slow down um, and stop here. I got a perfect, you know, I'm covered on the left from any of those ships. And then I'm, I'm bow into this vanguard and he can't really do anything to me. And he's just, you know, on a mission to the cap apparently. Just full steam ahead. Um... So I'm actually going to head, you know, towards our cap to deal with him because it looks like our team on that side is is not really doing the best. Um, and now that that, it, you know, on the minimap, minimap awareness, big deal. So you can see the the destroyer is, is you know, kind of running away and is preoccupied with the rest of my team on the other side of this rock. So I go ahead and, and decide to push forward to um, try to intercept this <laughs> YOLO vanguard. Um, that is pushing into our base 
Um, I'm also right now I'm looking for you know something I can shoot. The guns the guns are loaded. You know, typically in battleships, if if you're reloaded, you want to be shooting. Um, you know, maximum damage down range. So trying to find a good target. A um, couple of them are in cover. The one um, is you know is angled. So just trying to find um, a good target to shoot at as we head back to base here. Um, and you can see the Colorado is, is starting to turn a little bit more broadside, so we'll take a shot there um, while keeping eyes on the Vanguard that's <laughs> made it into our base now. Um, so, and there you see that. I think that salvo right there shows a little bit of the nerf that, that the uh, Vlad got as far as its its max you know long-range accuracy. So we only landed, I think, one hit there. Um, so that's where that you can see that nerf, but it really doesn't hurt the ship. I mean, more often than not, that you're still getting tight groupings on your shots. Um, and as you can see, and, and you know, by the end of this match, the ship is more than capable. Um, so here we go with the the Yolo Vanguard that is still just full steam ahead, completely broadside to us. Another Citadel. I don't know how he didn't kill him there, um, but he uh, he takes that, and we've got a, a friendly cruiser shooting him. But it looks like he's healing, um, so we need to deal with him here uh and we will <laughs> um but as you can I mean look at it he just straight pushed by himself all the way to the base um not not sure what he was hoping to accomplish there um but this was kind of a uh, show off move i fired no i was going to kill him so look elsewhere right um but down goes the vanguard so now we take a quick assessment you know what's going on it's the matches is a little, you know, is, is even to a point. Um, because he got in our base, it did flip the points quite a bit um, in their favor, and they've got us on ships, so we are losing the match at this point. Um, but it looks like our flank, for the most part, is secured, and most of their team is now either in their base or kind of in the center of the map. So, you know, I decide that we will will bow in and, and go for a push. Uh, this Fuso here decides he's going to to push through um, my division mate tags in pretty good um, right here before my shots land I end up getting uh, the kill for it but that was definitely more of a kill secure than any meaningful uh, damage shot there fast forward a bit um, just that you know two or three minutes of moving with nothing going on uh, and you'll see now we've got a enemy Massachusetts that's gonna be blocking our push uh, to the base here um, we're up to what three kills and 100k now after that hit. Um, so we're we're already on a warpath. The match is still very much even. Um, we're still technically losing on points, um, but a pretty close match. So this Massachusetts takes a couple big hits. I've got my division mate with me who's also in a Vlad. Um, so this is pretty intimidating for this this Massachusetts here. He's got two Vlads charging in at him, um, and he actually um, plays this really well. I try to get a cheeky shot on the cruiser. Uh, there at max range who's broadside, but he ends up going fast enough to just get around that uh, rock before we hit him But as you can see uh, Massachusetts obviously strong secondary, so we are in secondary range um, The the Russian battleships are pretty prone to fire, so we'll have to manage uh, your you know repair parties and your heels um, especially uh, With the battleships having a limited number of them so you know, you'll want to keep an eye on that and you'll see kind of how I, I try to decide when to let fires burn when to put them out when to heal um, but this Massachusetts actually does a really really good job here um, he goes bow in and puts it in reverse which is the best thing he could have done there if he tried to keep turning to turn around or sail away um, there's a good chance we would have uh, two Vlads would have probably killed him pretty quickly, um, so he gets in a good position to, to do what he can, basically to stall our advance and hope that his team <laughs> will give him some support here. Um, and they do a little bit, but look where his cruisers are. I mean, they're, they're so far away. You know, they're firing on B, but they're not really in a position to do much meaningful damage. Um, the Italian cruiser there with the, uh, the sap rounds is not really hitting his target as far as my superstructure. He's hitting a lot of my belt. Um, so you can see the amount of shatters that we'll get from all these ships that are hitting me. Um, just you know, see where the shells are coming in at. Um, so the Russian Russian battleships, you know, bow in. Um, they're almost you know not impossible to deal with, but they're very tough to deal with. Um, you know, angling is key, keeping your armor uh, where it's needed most. So obviously our biggest threat is the battleship directly in front of us. So I try to angle to him as best I can. 
um, while trying to get some, you know, getting damage on him. I do also have to watch out for the destroyer to my left. Um, but once again, he pops up on the minimap way, way out of uh, position to do us any harm, so we know we can continue to push. Um, and that's what we do, just you know, focus fire on this Massachusetts here, um, and then you know, be mind being mindful of these other ships. But I feel like if this team would have been a bit more closer together and concentrated fire more, I don't think I would have survived here. Um, but it was, you know, the Massachusetts was shooting, and then every once in a while I was taking a hit from one of these other ships, um, and I was able to, to mitigate the damage and heal through it. Um, and eventually we, we take down the mass here. Another, another you know, really low health uh, kill there. Um, but you'll notice in chat, uh, right after we kill him, um, he, uh, he types in chat. <laughs> He's like, you know, sorry, I suck. Um, and I don't know if this, if this player will ever see this video, but no, sir <laughs> or madam, uh, you did exactly what you were supposed to there, and you made that a lot harder than it could have been. So kudos to you uh, for doing the right thing. You definitely uh, did not suck in that case. Um, I don't know what his final output for the game was or anything like that, but in that situation, he did the best that he could, and his team kind of let him down. So I just wanted to get that out there uh, for that Massachusetts driver there. Uh, well fought, sir. So now we got a, gr uh, a cruiser here in front of us. Um, that does have torps, so you'll see me, you know, varying my direction um, and my speed um, to dodge torps. Um, also, my my pal division mate uh, let me, uh, you know, get the kill on this one since I hit him and he was down to almost nothing. Uh, so good guy division mate let me get this kill for the Kraken, which if you're familiar with my streams, anytime we get a Kraken, we do do giveaways. So um, that was why uh, he was keen on <laughs> letting me secure that one. Um, to, to trigger a giveaway for everybody watching. So now we've got we've got the Kraken um, dodging more torps. And now basically all that's left, um, if you'll see, our team has died and I've pretty much annihilated their team. So it's three on three at this point and the game is very much still in the balance. Um, and the you know the only threats left are these two cruisers and the enemy aircraft carrier which is um, you know, off in the corner somewhere undetected. Um, so you'll notice my thought process here is these cruisers are at the moment, at least the, the Cleveland is, is hiding away. Don't chase. Um, you know, if we were to try to chase them, that's exactly what they want because they can kite away, um, you know, WASD, dodge your shells, set fires. Um, the Zara, the Italian cruiser there, has really long range torps. So the chances of us succeeding in chasing down these cruisers, um, would not be ideal. So the plan here is we turn away, we head into their base and start capping, which will force them to either you know turn around and come engage us to stop the cap, or basically it's GGs. We'll cap them out and win. So turn around, you know, disengage. Don't chase the cruisers. Um, head into the cap. Start flipping points because um, it is a close match. You know, three three ships each left. Um, so it is still very much undecided. So we'll turn in, and, and I think this the Zara kind of know what's up. Um, he's charging in, um, but the Italian cruisers don't have the armor, especially against two Vlads, um, to really make much of an impact. Um, it really puts him at a disadvantage. So by us kind of turning around and, and dictating the terms of this fight, um, we were able to, to really flip the script and kind of, you know, secure the win for the team here. Um, you'll see the, uh, you know, the aircraft carrier tries to, to help, but it just... He's not really going to be that effective against us. Um, I think the Zara here is trying to like launch some last-second torps or something, but look at that grouping. <laughs> I think the butt gun for me did most of my damage. My third turret was just on fire this match. So there's six kills now, 153k. Um, all that's left now is this cruiser and their carrier. Um, so can we get seven? Can we go for seven kills, which I think would be my second highest. I think uh, that'd be my second highest. Uh, game nine is my highest uh, so we almost knock him out again and look at this here comes the <laughs> the uh, the butt gun for the win right and of course we get a, a citadel there when he has no health like waste of a citadel there so we end up uh, seven kills 162k um, over two million tanked um, one hell of a Vlad game um, at this point all that's left is the enemy CV um, which we we uh, actually end up dodging this last uh, ditch effort by him to sink us um, so we end up capping the base before we we can catch the carrier and, and end up winning 
Um, but you see the power of the Vlad, very much a fun ship, very much a great ship. Uh, 7 kills, 162k, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I appreciate you, thank you for watching, hopefully I'll catch you on stream.